Hi, I'm Jacob Anderson, and we're here at the park in Santa Monica with Young Hollywood. And I'm about to win this trivia game. Good luck. <laughs> What's up, Young Hollywood? We're with Jacob Anderson. How are you feeling being in LA? Yeah, good. It's nice. It's like, it's not too different to weather at home. Just we just don't get this bit. Yeah. We don't get the sun. Yeah. We just get the cold. Yeah. Do you yeah. prefer the cold or the warm? I like just very immediate, yeah. <laughs> like medium temperature. Like this, like you wear a jacket, but you're also, you're not too hot, you're not too cold. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you said you're very competitive. Yeah, to a fault. To a fault. Yeah. What's your favorite game to play? If you're playing board games, what, what are you playing? I really like Yahtzee, but okay. Monopoly, I have a really good Monopoly game. Okay. And I'm like very deliberate with it. Like I, I wouldn't even want to tell you what my game is because if I play <laughs> it with anybody, yeah. I don't want to, I, like, I don't want them to try and stop me. How often are you playing Monopoly? Not very much anymore, but I too used busy to play it a lot. Filming. Yeah. But we, lot to yeah. <laughs> used to play it very regularly. What's your and win when, rate? I, I, like, I don't think I've lost very often in Monopoly. I've probably lost like two or three times in my life. But no, that's not yeah. true. When I was a kid, <laughs> I would always lose. And I think yeah. that's why now I'm like... You can't. I, yeah. You refuse. But I have a tactic and it works every time. Let's see if the tactic's gonna work for this. Okay. Okay, so all the questions are related to interview with the vampire or your personal life. Okay. So not insane. So you should be, you <laughs> should be pretty good at it. All right. Okay? I should. You can pick one, you can have the first grab. Okay. Oh wait, you can't. Oh. The, the answer is bolded. I'll read it. Okay. Okay. You ready? Right. You can't cheat. He's trying to cheat. I'm just kidding. You said, <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. You just wanted me to pick one. <laughs> I okay. forgot. Okay. Right. Ready? The 1994 film Interview with the Vampire stayed the top grossing vampire movie for how many years? A, 13, B, 10, C, 7. So this is the movie. That's a long time for a film to stay. Okay, I'm gonna say ten. Oh my god, you got it! <laughs> and I didn't see. I didn't see the answer. Honestly, I thought we were gonna get you because right out the gate you were kind of hesitant. It's because it was between seven and thirteen. I was trying to think about yeah. what, why, like why those numbers. So you're thinking of it logically. So he's yeah. a logical game player. Yeah, because it's three down, three up. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, fine, you got it right. right. So you, Jacob won. I'm playing a zero. psychological game of <laughs> trivia. <laughs> okay, ready? In medieval, in medieval times, people with what color hair were regarded as vampires? What? This is not a question to do with me. You're a vampire. Oh, oh it is a vampire. So you should know. Um, no, I, you have options, okay? Okay, all right. A, gray hair, B, black hair, or C, Red hair. Red hair. How did you get it? Because I was trying to think about what was notable. Everybody goes grey. Yeah. At, at some point. What was the other one? Black hair. Black. I feel like a lot, there would have been a lot of brunettes in medieval time. So, me medieval time. <laughs> in that time, in medieval times. So yeah, red. Red like, was the only logical one. Yeah, because it was maybe less common. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you can pick the next one, but this you can't read it. I'll read it. It's good, I like this. Um, all right, I'm gonna pick that one. Okay, ready? I hope this is your Instagram one. Nope. Okay, so this is related to the show. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What is the name of the hotel that we see in the trailer of the series in the series as a whole? I hope he gets it wrong. A, Ashley's Hotel. Mm. B, Avery's Hotel. Or C, Annie's Hotel. Avery's Hotel. If, ah, you see, got it! But if you didn't give me options, I wouldn't have got it. And I, like, <laughs> I, I looked at that nearly every day. Yeah. And I was like, now you're asking me about it, I can't remember. So I'm glad that I got the multiple choice. The boys yeah. we were talking, because we played the game like before you came here or whatever, and the, the boys were like, he's gonna get it. He films every day on set. <laughs> like, he, he stares at it every day. <laughs> I should have known it without prompts, yeah. For the series, when you found out that you got the part, how did, were you feeling? I was really scared, I think, because I was like, it's, it's really, the idea of playing someone over the period of like a hundred years yeah. is, a is quite a daunting task. But also, it's just a lot, like, there's a lot going on for Louis yeah. all the time. And, um, and I, just, I also knew that like, the showrunner, Roland, said to me, 
it was like, you're gonna be in every day and it's all night. We're shooting for like five months. So you're gonna be nocturnal? Yeah, it's just like, like I just, just need you to, you know, take care of yourself for the yeah. next few, like next few weeks before we start shooting the next couple months. Um, so yeah, it was quite daunting. Yeah. But then when I got there, it was just like, you just take it a day at a time. Did you feel like fine. you took care of yourself? Like you were good with the nights versus the days? Or were some days kind of hard? You get, no, you get used to it. Yeah. You do get used to it. And I used to do stuff like, before I went out, I'd started running. So it's just like, it, just, it means that I can, <laughs> I can learn how to like cheat my brain into like pushing yeah. <laughs> beyond limits. <laughs> um, and that sort of helped. Yeah. But it was sort of good. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, ready for the next one? Yeah, ready. Okay. Are you, okay. So I can hit it. Alright, got it. Okay. This one's fun. Okay. So, this is random too. Not you or the show. <laughs> so this is just your knowledge. Right. This was the most streamed song of 2021. What the? <laughs> How am I gonna get that? Alright. I'll give you options. Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, Levitating by Dua Lipa, or Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. What's annoying is I was like, it's one of two things. Yeah. It's one of two songs. So it's either levitating or blinding lights. And um, I want to say, oh, no, maybe one of them is 2022, but how would they know? How we not? It's the end of 2022. See, I really want to get this right. <laughs> yeah. I want to get every single question right. Um, the Weekend, Dua, or Olivia? I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say levitating, do a lift up. Oh, Wrong. no! <laughs> no. It was Olivia, driver's license. Was it? You probably heard that song maybe 50 million times. Driver's license by Olivia Rodrigo. I, no, I've heard, I know this song, but I just, I just for some reason, levitating I feel like second. I heard the other two more. Yeah. Well, you were very close, because they were all, they, they, those were like the top three. So I'm just like, okay. it was kind of, a. Hard question. Right. So, well, Young Hollywood you won. Jacob, what? Five? <laughs> See, you're still doing great. You're still winning. I know, but I want to win all of them. <laughs> this, I can't be. Well, now it's impossible. No so. Satisfaction in this now. <laughs> okay, you admitted this on TV. Oh, no. A, you broke your fangs. B, you were late to set. Or C, the fight scenes took 12 hours each to film. I mean, they're all true. <laughs> Okay, well I, I think I think the thing that I said was about breaking the teeth. Yes, you did. Because I didn't tell anybody about that. The only person that knew that was Tammy, who <laughs> did my makeup, and she was like, "It's okay, I've got a spare. We'll just put this." That's so we'll funny because the other two answers I just made up. <laughs> there you go. So you just admitted to the to well, the fight scenes are being twelve hours, and then you were late to set. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Yeah. So for your eyes, were the, the eyes ever trippy when you looked in the mirror? Yeah, it's just like they were trippy looking at anything. Yeah. Because you just, like, it means that unless you're looking at really even light, yeah. like, everything is, is just like being in a dream. You can't really see, like, the details of people's faces. You That's can't. crazy. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like, if you imagine looking through, like, a, like a roll of, like a kitchen roll yeah. thing all the time throughout the day. Yeah. It's a bit like that. You just had them in, like, the whole, like, 12 hours yeah. or yeah. more. Yeah, you just keep Sometimes oh it took a minute to took them out at lunch, but not every day. If you look like looking at this light, yeah. or looking like being in a completely dark room, you literally can't see anything. Oh my gosh. It's mad. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, they look great in the show, so that's Yeah, good. They, they, they work. They just, I walked a into lot. things a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> okay. What year was Interview with the Vampire first published? 1976, 1984, or 1973? So I know it was written in 1973, but I don't know if it was published the same year or if it was published in 1976. Oh man, I need to start paying attention more. <laughs> uh, I want to say. It was published in the year 1976. Yes, thank yeah. you, you got it. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> All right. Did you read the books? 
I know a couple yeah. of interviews you said you did, and then you kind of caught up on reading the whole, like all of them. Yeah, I read the first two before we shot anything, and then I've read most of them now. Yeah. I've got like, I think I've got about four to go. Okay, so, so you yeah, you on the plane ride home, you can be reading. No, I did. I like, I, I read Queen of the Damned on the way home, which is the third, the yeah. third book, and then just kept reading them. Yeah. How do you feel as someone that's in the show, acting out the book compared to the show? Because so many comments in the trailers and like the episodes and social media and stuff is comparing them. So how mm -hmm. do you feel as someone that's the lead in the show? I don't know. I mean, like, I really hope that I've done the character justice and I've done the show, the, the story justice. But I feel like I just had to make sure that I stay true to like, how I felt yeah. about the book when I first read it. And, and I thought, as a fan of the book and a fan of the, the, well, both books that I've read, I was like, as long as I remember that I loved it and remember why I love it, then I kind of can't go wrong. Yeah. You try and please everyone, you, you, I think you just end up pleasing no one. Yeah. Because everyone has like a different idea of what. Well, every all I've not read a bad comment. I'm not saying that because I'm interviewing you, but like, That's nice. there's not a bad comment. So you're you did good. <laughs> okay, ready? This one's fun. I've said that about everyone, but whatever. <laughs> it's a fun game. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Your Instagram bio mm -hmm. reads as this. Your Instagram bio. I really should get this one right. Worm vampire PhD and sad boy. Vampire worm PhD and sad boy. Or PhD and sad boy, vampire, worm. I'm pretty sure I would have done it in the order that I did things. So I think it's worm, vampire, PhD and sad boy. Ding, 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 you got it. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to get that one. Where does the PhD and sad boy come from? Um, I think... Because I also love how you spelled it. <laughs> I just think I am a bit of a sad. I mean, it's funny because like I feel like there's there are things that we come up with or like things that that happen on the internet, and you're like, oh, sad boy. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah, but it is based in just like being sad. Um, uh, yeah, I just I I guess I'm saying I feel qualified to talk about being sad boy. A sad hours. boy, or yeah, like sad uh, anything. Oh, Ryan's a sad boy. He says it all the time. Yeah. You guys are one and the same. Me and you, Ryan. <laughs> Me and you. Yeah. Okay, this one's great. Okay. Right. Your co-star, Sam Reed's birthday, is... And we're sending this to him if you get it wrong. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I know what month it is. Okay, but I, good thing you said that out loud because now I'm changing all the answers. No! <laughs> in oh, the same no. month. Oh, okay. okay, ready? February 12th, 1987. February 19th, 1987. Or February 3rd, 1987. February 12th, 1987. <laughs> we even did, like, we did a thing for his, for his birthday. birthday. We, like, we like arranged it, like we arranged a cake and like banners and yeah. stuff. I knew it was around Valentine's Day, but that's okay. We won't send it to him. It's the 19th. Oh. <laughs> but I'll tell him now. I'll be like, I'm so sorry. There's gonna be a video. It's gonna come just up. Don't, just and don't watch it. I just it. want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people. Okay, so you got his birthday wrong, but you still are best friends with him. Yeah. So. A lot of the comments on this too were that you guys have such great chemistry. Did you know each other at all before you started filming? No, no, we never met. We like, we we did our chemistry reads on Zoom. Okay. Which was kind of unorthodox. Um, but I just, I, I don't know, we just, we just really liked each other straight yeah. away. And we just like had similar thoughts, I think, about what this was, like what we were doing. And um, yeah. He's, I like, he's one of my favorite people I've ever yeah. met in my life, let alone worked with. And we just, like, we just work well together. I can't even really pinpoint it exactly why. But like, well, we're just, we're gonna screen. hang out. Now. Yeah. Like, after this, we're gonna go to the Grove. Oh, he's, he's in LA? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's perfect. You guys, yeah. okay, I was gonna say, when's the last time you talked to him? You're like, now, and I'm gonna talk like, to him later. Half an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. 
Oh my God, love that. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. It took this amount of time to write Interview with the Vampire. Three weeks, four months, five weeks for Anne Rice. She wrote it. Yeah. Is it three weeks or five weeks? Because she wrote a short story first, and then I think the, the novel came really quickly. I just. I don't know if it's three weeks or five weeks. I'm going to say five weeks because you said, did you say five months was one of them? Four months. Oh, you said four months. Oh. Right, let's go for, uh, let's go for three weeks. <laughs> you were no. right. Oh. You were right with the five weeks. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to think too, like, I'm trying to be strategic in like a multiple choice trivia game. Yeah. And it's not, <laughs> that's not the way to go. I should have trusted my instinct. Go with your gut. Go with I'll your just gut. Spit all over the table. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, you're cleaning. We won't get yelled at if you clean it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you have your Game of Thrones background and you have Interview with a Vampire. Mm -hmm. So what would you say is your more favorite project? <laughs> That's not fair. That's not a fair question. It's Interview with the Vampire, but it's still not fair to ask. <laughs> you said I have my answer, but. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I think. Uh, I love Game of Thrones. I love doing it. I love playing Grey Worm. I love the people I worked with. Um, but I don't think I've ever been like. There's nothing is in my in my professional life has ever been like as satisfying, and yeah. as challenging as Interview with the Vampire. It's intense. Yeah, it's yeah, very it super intense. intense. And it was like it just kind of took over yeah. our lives for five months and. And I guess forever now. <laughs> forever. You're kind of branded to that. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. In an interview you said your what was not comfortable. Your fang, your makeup, or your coffin? Oh, I know the answer to that. My coffin. <laughs> my coffin sucks. It's, it's What's like, it like laying in a coffin when you're so alive? <laughs> my coffin is, is like, it's beautifully designed. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like art deco and it's like all just like shiny black. And it even the inside looks amazing. It's like deep green, like I love green. Yeah. So I love it to look at. To as look as at. You, yeah, getting in it. So it has like these little cushions. You know like with, with like, a, a, like a, a cushion with like a, like a button in it. Yeah. It's like, it has that all the way down oh, and yeah. all the way around. So and comfortable. if you lie in the middle of the coffin, the buttons like hit every single like joint in your body. Nice. So it's like all the way down your spine, like right there on the back of your head. All the way down. And then like on your arms and everything, like it's just. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like, it feels like some kind of acupuncture exercise. I'm not You'd think sure. they'd have a better coffin considering you're a vampire, but. Yeah. I think they were just, it was like they were thinking purely design and I yeah. respect that. I respect it. <laughs> Can't be mad. I just I wasn't like, everything, the eyes not seeing, the coffee being uncomfortable. Yeah. Just a challenge. Yeah. But you killed it, so it's fine. When there were two of us in there, it was fine. Like yeah. if there were two people in <laughs> there, like, you just go either side of the of the of buttons the, and you're yeah. you're absolutely fine. You're fine, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. How many total novels made up Anne Rice's The Vampire Chronicle series? 10, 15, or 13? <laughs> um, I thought I knew this answer and I'm wrong. Because <laughs> it was none of those. <laughs> I think it's 13. You got it. Lucky guess, lucky guess. No, it wasn't a guess. I was being, because I was like, I thought there was 11. But then I know there are two books that I didn't even know about until like a few So that's a good. So you did math. Yeah, yeah. You did math. Yeah. So you were good. Nice. You were good. Yeah. Does your family watch the show? Yeah. Do they like it? Yeah, they do. I think like it's some of it's probably quite alarming for them. Right. <laughs> Just like seeing me in peril <laughs> so yeah. frequently. But um but no, they they it's not the show doesn't air in the UK yet, so Oh my God. A lot of my family haven't seen haven't it. Haven't seen it yet. Do you watch it when it comes out? Like, do you have screeners for it so you can watch it as it comes no. out with people? I, well, I've been like, I, I've got, I've got links so I could watch. Yeah. It. But like, so I watched it um, without any VFX and then watched it 
like not to be crazy, crazy you no know, yeah. effects in effect yeah but it's really like i feel like it's really heartening when you watch something and it's got nothing on it and then you're like oh i still like this so yeah i think this, this is good this works um but yeah yeah like it's going to be interesting when why not if my friends watch it like Friends and family feedback is so, I love that stuff. It is, I like, I'm not, I, I generally don't tell people like if I've done something. <laughs> like what you're in this and you're like, yeah. I swear I've released, I like I've released whole albums and not told anyone. anyone. My family or my friends <laughs> It's like or on the radio and they're like, oh, this, yeah, this sounds like, great. It's like, oh, wait a sec. You just, have you finished your album? I'm like, oh um, yeah. 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 I did. Yeah. <laughs> listen to it if you want. Okay, ready for the last one? Yeah. You're technically still winning, but maybe it's a tie. How this many is have make I got wrong? Two. Three. <sighs> so this is gonna make or break you. That's the final rule. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. The name of season one, episode six, is like angels put in hell like God. Is my very nature that of a devil, or a vile hunger for your hammering heart? So which one is six? Episode six is called Like Angels Put in Hell by God. You win! You win the game! Woo! That was a good one to end on. Because <laughs> you got it right and it yeah. wasn't really logic. That was all smart. Put that on my head now. You mm, win. win. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. What's the best thing that came from interview with the vampire for you? Um, oh, that's hard to. Sam Reed. Let's say Sam Reed. We're gonna put, cut that, but yeah. Sam, keep watching when you get his birthday wrong. Yeah. Keep watching to the end. Sam, it's Sam. It's definitely- Sam's the best. Sam is the best. <laughs> no, he does, he's probably not the best thing to come from me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut that. I Don't worry, Sam. Dearly, but it's not, yeah. I did, yeah, I think I did, like, I did things in that show that I didn't think I'd ever be able to do. Like, I've really had to push myself. And um, for me, like, it's a big, deal to be able to like feel that about myself like oh I, I there were things I, I genuinely was like I don't know how to do this scene or like I don't know I don't think I'm going to be very good at this particular thing and I did you did it and you killed it and everybody loves it oh, that's nice. Thank everyone you. does <laughs> so congratulations on the series being such a success so far Thanks, and good job at the game thank you you win winner winner <laughs> I got more right than I got wrong so you win yeah. Yep. It's like I'm scoring gonna, more points. But I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna be just, Study. just like. <laughs> Remember that time I lost that game? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And um, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's just all Jacob Anderson. I don't do a lot, to be honest. Um, but watch, <laughs> watch the show, Interview the Vampire on AMC. Thank you.